What has happened with Markel Fultz has been the strangest, most undescribable event in the history of the sport. That may seem like an over-exaggeration, but think of it this way. The number one pick, almost undisputed best player from the 2017 draft, has forgotten how to play basketball. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But look, he's on pace to break more backboards than Shaq and sit out more games than prime Derrick Rose. As far as I'm concerned, that's some pretty legendary company. Now, there have been huge reports of him being sent to the G League and removed from the NBA for a bit. I mean, the number one pick being sent to the G League in his first season? I'm just as confused as you are. But let's be real. If your rookie doesn't get horrifically injured or sits out at least an entire season, is he really a Philadelphia 76er? I mean, as we speak, Joel Embiid probably stepped on a Lego and ruptured his foot. If I didn't have a track record of being a f idiot, you'd probably believe that. Now, the weirdest part is, Markel looked great in Summer League. Which, to be fair, even I'd look great in Summer League. That shit's a joke. Markel at least played like he did in college. But not as great as the almighty Summer League MVP. Seriously, Summer League Lonzo is right up there with gang sign John Wall and tooth gap Mello. Oh, brother! Now, when you think long and hard about it, Markel Fultz's jump shot reminds you of an old man's penis. He just can't get up his shots anymore, definitely not at an elite level, and this is what scouts had to say about Markel in summary. Markel Fultz gave Philadelphia 76ers fans a taste of his smooth, effortless scoring. Really? You couldn't use better wording than that? What they're trying to say is he played great, hit all kinds of shots, had great handles, and shooting range. He was legitimately the best shot creating and smoothest offensive threat from the entire draft class. And now, he can't even make food. Changing your form and messing around with your jump shot is a dangerous game to play. I'm not sure, but I think there were reports of Markel trying to emulate Steph Curry's form or his shot release. And look, as much as I hate to say it, that shit is just unattainable. It's cartoonish. But this reminds me of LeBron trying to imitate Lonzo's jump shot a few months ago. You gotta be careful, LeBron. You do not want Lonzo Ball's form. That insanely uncomfortable moment you realize Lonzo is low-key a better shooter than LeBron. My town is the South Beach. Now we're gonna get into this whole thing with detail real soon. And of course, can Markel succeed in the G League? Will he ever be great in the NBA? We're gonna get into that right away. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. So watching Markel have to shoot jump shots has been one of the more painful experiences in life. I'd rather commit a crime and have D'Angelo Russell be my defense lawyer. And look, I've seen a couple of Lakers games. Lonzo Ball's jump shot has given me post-traumatic stress disorder. And Markel's has been even worse. So as a big time fan of the NBA, I've been suffering. Also, I was gonna make a cancer joke, but I'd like to seriously state that cancer is not a laughing matter. And I never use the word to be offensive or to offend any legitimate cancer patients. Here are a few severe cases of cancer. These could kill you. Okay, okay, hold it right there. That may have been the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Look, I've seen just about everything throughout the course of my life, except for a vagina. That jump shot may have been the worst. Lonzo Ball's jump shot may be unconventional, but it's fluid, it's one motion. Even though that motion includes him shooting it from his fucking ears. Not only is Markel Fultz's jump shot not fluid, it looks like death. This guy and when you think about it, Markel has essentially been removed from the NBA. Make no mistake, he was never injured. The Sixers tried pulling a fast one. 
He also doesn't have any family related issues. He doesn't have any contractual issues. The only reason for him not to be playing basketball right now is to save face. I've seen nothing like it, and the league has basically accepted it. Look, I don't know too much about the NBA rulebook or the NBA in general, but there has to be a legitimate reason along with proof to be able to sit out this many games. Last I checked, having a jump shot with erectile dysfunction isn't a reason to not play basketball. And forget jump shot erectile dysfunction, Tim Duncan had real erectile dysfunction and still played. Now as an NBA player he can barely make wide open shots in practice. If he even attempts to play in a real time NBA game, his career will be smoked. The D-League would be a great option for him. In terms of just straight up sitting out games, the only thing in recent memory that has been remotely close to this is LeBron taking a two week vacation from his team just to get right mentally. Steroids. He went to Miami and it was a, hey, look how fucking garbage this team is when I don't play type of statement. And it's an interesting time in the NBA. The first pick in the draft isn't playing because he's mentally broken and can't score. The second pick in the draft wasn't playing because he was making music and got his girlfriend pregnant. And the fourth pick in the draft looks like Kevin Durant with an afro. So it's truly a great time in the NBA. I'm gonna speak it into existence. LeVar told you he was gonna go to the freaking Lakers. Number two. You must be a genius, LeVar. Let's go. Album is fire. Hey. Now, to wrap it up, one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video was to be fair to Lonzo. If we're gonna criticize the number two pick for being trash, well, the number one pick has arguably been worse. Markel gets a pass though because his dad brushes his teeth and he doesn't try finessing us $200 for an autograph. And he doesn't try finessing us $200 for an autograph. But to be real, I'm not even sure if Markel can even write anymore. He probably can't even jerk himself off properly. Call me. And oddly enough, Lonzo took a lot of pressure off of Markel Fultz. No, really, the only dude the media wanted to talk about was Lonzo Ball. Markel, forgetting how to play basketball, was forgotten when Lonzo was on the court. So look, if there's anyone who's relieved that Lonzo has returned, it's me. I'm in desperate need of content. Now there have been major headlines of Markel being removed from the NBA and sent to the G League, and it'd be a very smart move from a rather incompetent French. JJ, you seem kind of annoyed with us shooting video of Markel over there. Do you have something you want to say about that, or is that something you want to speak to? Uh, yeah, it's, it is annoying. I mean, the, the guy's 19, you know, he's working his ass off. Um, I understand that fans, you know, want to see his progress, but, um, you know, this, this is this is maybe going to be a longer process than you know we all hope for. I don't get the coming in here every day to like watch him shoot pull-up jumpers. Like, it's a little obsessive. How do you guys show him support? Uh, we we do on a daily basis, uh, whether that's through uh, conversations, um, you know, our our group text messaging. We're all we're all there for him. He knows that. KJ. Something strange to you in terms of his behavior like that, in terms of an injury, because like like you just said, we all thought it'd be maybe quicker than what's what's to actually develop. Um, I've seen a lot of strange things in the NBA. Um. Markel's shot has improved a lot since a few months ago, but it still looks slightly horrific just slightly and it's a confidence thing with him getting off clean and improved jumpers in practice means next to nothing so expect him to spend a week or two in the g league and it's insane how this has all unfolded the nba and adam silver very clearly know that markel is sidelined because he forgot how to shoot and the nba has accepted it because for the number one pick in the draft to perform like that is just a stain on the brand so yes he's been kicked out of the nba 
Before we jump right back into the video, I'd like to tell you about SeatGeek. Basically an app that delivers the best deal on tickets from all over the internet and they have a 0 to 100 rating, which lets you know if you got a good deal or a bad one. Green means really good, orange is alright, and red is bad. A really cool feature is you can see the view you're going to get before you go. So check out the link in the description and use my code GDH for $20 back on your first purchase. Now I know I've said I'm going to be uploading twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but the only reason I haven't is because Wednesday just seems like a busy day for most people. But I'm gonna try anyways, I'll be uploading at a good time, like when people are mostly free and have time to watch. So if I do upload on Wednesday or Thursday, make sure to click and tune in. Like I said, the quality is supposed to go even higher. I'm trying to make everything as watchable as possible. And if you enjoyed, make sure to share the video with as many people as you can, because I said so. No questions asked, send it to everyone. And then make sure to check out any other video, links will be available. Adios.